Caps. He was just called up with the injuries that occurred yesterday. I, I think he's the guy that's kind of the Jordan Walden clone. Let's check out his delivery. Because I heard an interesting story. This is the guy we'll know right away. Yep. An umpire in the minor leagues the other night called an illegal pitch. Said it was an illegal pitch, and he said, "Why is it? Because your foot wasn't on the rubber." And he goes, and they, there was a debate and an argument. They didn't call it in the big leagues. He threw another pitch. The umpire said, "Illegal pitch." So that's ball two. And they actually had had a discussion with the head of umpires in the minor leagues about, you know, going forward, mm -hmm. what was going to be called on him. Wow, he's way down there. Wow. O2 pitch. Does the rule book not say as he struck out Bethancourt, the pitcher's foot has to be in contact with the rubber at release of the baseball? It's almost impossible to do. But you're right, Joe. He's a good foot and a half, two feet off the rubber and jumping down the slope of the mound. They were trying to say that there was something that it was like a an amendment that you had to drag your toe. That if you were, if you kind of lunged off the bag and you dragged your back toe, then it was OK. But that he doesn't. He's actually almost jumping down the mound to shorten the distance. He was never that far down the mound. That guy's hand, that ball is still behind his right hip when he finally lands on the third base for Wilmer Florence. Well, the boys in the audio room. Yeah, that's on you. It's it happens. At Venditti, it's one of the more anticipated Major League debuts. The switch pitcher. It's kind of fun. Well, the, you can see the glove. It's actually two webbings, two thumbs. And Kurt Young said it best. He's here to get out. He's yep. not here to have people wonder how he's going to be able to do all these things. But right now, it's a left-handed hitter. So we anticipate when Ramirez comes up, he'll switch around and throw right-handed. Right now, left-handed to Holt. First pitch is a strike on the inside corner. You know, you see young kids come up, young kids being 21, 22, make their major league debut. But, man, you fight as you have for, to your 29. And I think we have some interested people right there in the front row. Well, there, there's, a, there's, a, yeah, there, there's a group here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, they're here. But those are just A's fans. And, yeah. Oh, now he threw out from the right side. <laughs> Ramirez right. can't understand what's going on. The old one pitched to Ramirez. Hit in the left field, the base hit. Well, like maybe hit it off the end yeah. of the bat a little bit. So the Vendetti rule for ambidextrous pitchers. The pitcher must visually indicate to the umpire, batter, and runner which way he will begin pitching to the batter, engaging the rubber with the glove on the particular hand, which, which will be the deciding factor. The batter then can choose which side of the plate he will bat from. The pitcher then has to pitch with that hand for the entire at-bat. Any switch must be clearly indicated to the umpire. Nor no warm-up pitches during a change. White sleeve, yeah. Long white sleeve. He's going to have to probably change yeah, his shirt. It's mm -hmm. going to get annoying to keep sliding down on him. It doesn't look really comfortable, does it? No. Yeah. They're going to cut it off. Bring some scissors out there. This has been a crazy start, hasn't it? The two guys thrown out at third. You had a disputed home run that became foul. Manager got kicked out three pitches into the game. And now yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the Chris Sale bit. Yeah, and, and if the uh, yeah, if the last thing on your baseball bingo card was pitcher had sleeves cut off on the mound, then you're yelling bingo. Careful, PJ. Nice job. Put them on eBay, sell them as souvenir. All right. I'll let my partner describe this. Well, <laughs> not much will make Tim Linscombe smile in the course of a game, especially when he's down two runs, but this pitch might. Whoop. 
he didn't even know where it went. And it almost came back and hit him on the head. I mean, it almost rolled over for a strike. I mean, that is one of the bigger curveballs I've ever seen. Be the, the vaunted Giants rotation. Allowing oh, the most, that's a, that's a balk. The most uh, home runs. Now you get checked on. Let's go make sure he's okay. Well, and that's the second time tonight that he's had a problem with his footing. It's not the mound, it's just catching his cleat. At UW, big time. His number retired on the outfield wall of that field. No swing, says Quinn. Oh, look out. out. How about that? Posey just threw the ball in the glove, and Peavy wasn't looking. Wow. Now he looks away, and watch, he's looking at the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> you, couldn't, you can't do that. Wee! Because they're thinking it's going to hit Peavy right in the head. Right back up the middle, and the Royals have the lead. Solaire scores. Here comes O'Hearn, and he scores as well. Nicky Lopez, who was just one for his last 23, delivers the tie-breaking two-run single. Curveball. And he just takes it, stays on it, doesn't try to do much with it, just up the middle. And he is going to end Bowers' afternoon with that two-run single. And they take a 7-5 to five lead. Well, Trevor Bauer, when he was taken out of the game, turned and I don't know where he threw that ball. Well, I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. I know one thing. Skipper is not happy with that. He might be frustrated because this was an ugly inning, but you can't do that between the lines. Frustrating afternoon for Trevor Bauer and his manager was fine until it upset him there at the mound. What he did before he came out, watch this. He turns and fires it. Thankfully, he threw it against the, the board, so there was nobody in the seats there to get hit with it. But you know, you don't do that when your manager's coming out. It's disrespectful. So Francona's going, what the heck was that? And Brock goes, my bad, Skip, I'm sorry. And he goes, go grab some pine. I'm going to see you in a little bit. And so he's in the principal's office right now, <laughs> and then let them deal with it. But the Royals, they, they, they frustrated him. They got some big hits on some of his best pitches, and so 